Today we're going to be going over the differences between an effective and non-effective team. So I wanted to share a personal experience to start this presentation. I had the opportunity to work on a sales floor um, here locally actually in the Silicon Slopes and it was incredible. You know the motivation and the energy that we had on the sales floor was absolutely amazing and every single month we were hitting our goals you know every month we were getting 130 percent of quota 160 percent of quota and it was just a great place to work um you know everyone was being successful we were making good money and we had no idea what was coming next you know a couple months later we had changes in management and structure changes throughout the the organization and throughout the company and in my mind, I thought, you know, the changes won't be affect us that much because we still have all the same people on the phones. You know, the performance will be the same. You know, nothing, nothing will be that different because we still have our core group there. But I was really baffled to see what happened next. And I don't think any of us saw, saw it coming. You know, the same exact people that were on the phones, you know, they started not hitting their goals. They started not hitting their quota as a team. You know, our energy went down, you know, our, our motivation went down. We weren't as accountable to each other. And here depicted, you know, you can see a team that, that feels that way. You know, they come into work, they put a smile on their face, but truly they're, they're not motivated behind the scenes. And I was completely confused on, on how this happened. You know, I knew the leadership change. I, I knew the, the structure change and, you know, how we did things were, were a little different, but we had all the same exact people on the phones. So how did this happen? You know, today what we're going to go over in our blog post is the differences between effective and ineffective teams and what can cause a team to, to have good results or to barely have any results at all. And so today we're going to go over the differences and, and what different principles and, and practices we can have within our team um, in order to make them as successful as possible.